Welcome back to the Marketing Mindset. I'm Joe Kaufman, CEO of AGT Sparks. And again, every week we try to cover topics that are useful for senior marketing folks. Um, and this week we wanted to cover budgeting because we're heading towards the end of the year and obviously a lot of folks are on a calendar year budget. And so as new budgets begin in 2017, or I'm sorry, 2018, we'd like to cover a topic that might be important to you right now. So um, in the past, we've covered topics such as brand storytelling, tips on being more creative, simplicity, empathy in your marketing efforts, uh, building a great team. And then we also talk a little bit about things happening here at Agency Sparks that might be interesting to you. But you can always see past episodes of Marketing Mindset by going to marketingagencysparks.com slash marketing mindset. Or you can go to our blog archives to see past episodes or actually things that we've been writing uh, on the same topics. Um, also, youtube.com slash agency sparks has past episodes as well. So as mentioned, 2017 coming to a close, uh, creating marketing budgets is not always a simple task. It's often, it's common that marketers will pigeonhole themselves by sort of narrowing their focus by just using last year's budget and just duplicating it for this year and ignoring potential new goals and opportunities that may come up for this year. And so it's sometimes difficult to map out and plan um, your budget for the next year. Uh, according to a stat that we found from MDG Advertising, 32% of companies believe that their data is inaccurate. And uh, I'm gonna be sharing a couple of other stats today as we, we talk a little bit more. But uh, a lot of times people are planning their budgets around incorrect numbers and it leads to wasted marketing efforts and, and more expenses. And then the other thing is um, budgeting can throw off the entire marketing strategy if you don't get it right. So with all the risks that come from creating the perfect budget, you want to make sure that you efficiently, efficiently strategize to avoid unnecessary spending and costs. Um, and so I'm going to cover in this episode four common mistakes that marketers make when putting together a marketing budget, as well as a solution for each one. So the four common mistakes are poor organization, bad data, miscommunication between departments, and then sticking to the status quo or the norm. And I'm gonna go into a little more detail about each of those four. Uh, the first one, the problem is it's poor organization. And the problem is that without proper budget planning, overspending and loss of revenue often can occur. The solution for poor organization is to align the marketing goals with the company's vision, prioritize expenses that need to be achieved to hit those goals. So also keeping in account, you know, last year's budget priorities, but what are the you know, upcoming budget priorities? And then outlining different budget uh, templates may help you organize and prioritize and avoid hidden costs. In fact, we have, developed a budgeting template that may be useful to you that you can find um, on by going to our blog archives. Uh, the second problem that comes up is bad data. Budgeting planning is part of the data analysis. It's one part data analysis and it's one part fortune telling. Um, and that often the analytics that we use to measure our success or failures in marketing are flawed and there may be gaps in customer databases and that lead to unreliable data. So the solution is to have a real firm grasp on your current financial and, and data situation within the business. Benchmark performance of every process before and after. So you should always be doing a post-mortem after you do a marketing campaign. And evaluate uh, the different platforms that you're using and their effectiveness. Um, the next thing is clicks and impressions are usually the result from money spent on paid media. So you want to measure those things, but also other hard metrics that could be important to your business. Um, set aside some budget for campaigns with larger audiences and then target the audiences based on consistent analysis of their interests and their key keywords. In other words, make it really consumer focused or client focused. Uh, the third challenge or, or problem that people run across in budgeting is miscommunication between departments. Um, in order to see the best results, the never-ending feud between sales and marketing needs to come to a close and you need to really align around what is a common um, 
quality of a, of a lead and what should a good lead look like for a business. Um, back to that MDG study, they stated 50% of sales people find that marketing efforts are unsatisfactory and 55% of marketers don't use measurement to influence their actions. So we need to be better about the communication that happens between the two departments. Um, so the solution, communication definitely relieves this tension. Um, open communication about the ROI is essential in understanding each other's value that they bring to the table. And if each group aligns their actions to the overall company goals, it'll create a clearer execution strategy. Uh, and then the last thing is being purposeful with objectives and tactics saves time and money and also efforts. Um, we have blogs all about these different issues, which you can find in the blog archives. Uh, the last kind of point is sticking to the norm. Uh, and the problem is that comfort or comfortability is the poison to the company's growth. A member of the team actually reminds us of this every week during our meetings that we need to not get too comfortable. And it's, it's been a lot of fun to talk about. But we're constantly trying to push beyond the boundaries to advance what we're doing and not just sticking to the norm. Um, because of tools, consumer preferences and competitors are constantly innovating. And the challenge for us as marketers is to keep up with the pace of innovation for consumers. In the span of the last 10 years or so, digital has increased very significantly from you know, 8% 10 years ago to over 35, 40, even more percentage uh, today. Uh, often companies kind of sit in this kind of area of complacency with specific channels like maybe email that does the job really well, but as they don't really consider new things like virtual reality, augmented reality, or emerging technologies. So we need to make sure we keep those in mind as they emerge and don't just stick to the norm. Um, so some of the solution here is investing in technology that benefits the company in the long run, uh, not ignoring possibilities or underestimating the speed of change, particularly when it comes to consumer behavior, and testing and learning new approaches, and then assessing services and programs help determine what the ROI was in real time we now can get data at a much more rapid pace to evaluate programs. And then evaluating and monitoring strategies and channel use to be certain that you're fully utilizing the best channels for your brand. Um, back to that MDG study, research showed that strategies uh, is important. Strategy is important since it uh, prevents, strategy issues tend to prevent success, bottom line. So, Budgeting doesn't have to be complicated. Proper planning, vigilant evaluation, super clear communication, and open-mindedness to new potential options and possibilities. And that will help ensure a stress-free budgeting process uh, and happy uh, new year planning. Um, thanks for joining this week's Marketing Mindset. If there's anything we missed or if there's anything that we should be covering, please let us know. Again, you can go to agencysparks.com slash marketing mindset to see past episodes, or you can go to agencysparks.com slash blog archives to see the blogs that we usually use as the basis for these conversations. So thanks for coming back and look forward to seeing you every week.